All right, in this video, we're going to show you the four core stories to implement into your marketing repertoire to get more customers, better customers, and speed up the uh, acquisition for your business. And then if you stay till the end, I'll tell you the story about Frank <laughs> and how this all kind of wraps around in, into what we're talking about. But the four core stories that you want to have and be able to tell and, and relate to your prospects, clients, uh, are these ones in this one and you can find these in a couple other different books i was trying to think of the uh the, the author of this one book that i read uh, but don't don't go too deep into the weeds in these just kind of record some of your stories and life experiences as you go but don't get too caught up in how to tell them and and, and all that stuff you can, you can keep it to the four basic ones but if you really do want to get into it peter goober has a Gruber, Gruber, Tell to Win. He's a Hollywood producer. He's got a good book on stories. And then there's another one called Stories That Stick. I'm trying to think of the author, but if you go on Amazon, you can check these out. There's a bunch of other ones too, Leadership uh, Stories. Start. Uh, but anyway, Stephen Denning is another author that does about stories. But the four ones that you want to really be, pay attention to are the uh, uh, Epiphany Bridge. Epiphany, Epiphany Bridge story which is your origin story on how you got to do what you're doing. <clears throat> the aha moments, if you will, how you were stuck, what happened that you were like, oh man, that'll work. And how you implement it and the struggles that you overcame to actually come, uh, come into being. The next one is a story about the vehicle that you're proposing, the, your methodology of what it is that you coach or methodology got ahead of myself, that's supposed to spell methodology, on what it is that you sell, whether it be a product service, but the, uh, the origin of that. The next one is the internal beliefs that you had or your prospects have and how you overcome them. So I'm too old, I'm too, too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too young to have any life experiences that are worth sharing. It's too, I'm too late in the game. And if you're too late in the game, <clears throat> if you're thinking that now's the time because it couldn't be any better, but these are the internal stories that folks are telling themselves and the ones that you kind of figure out how to overcome and to shatter some false beliefs. Because whenever folks have these objections, oh, I'm too young, I'm too old. These are the ones that you want to be able to tell a story to shift the mindset, the thinking, so that they can say, okay, yeah, maybe I could do that. And the same goes with external. I don't have enough time. The, <clears throat> the economy's bad. Inflation's too high. With inflation being too high, it's no, <laughs> and with an information-based business, you couldn't find a better model because as the, the, the inflation scale increases, so does your uh, profit margin. It's just a matter of, or, or, or keeping up with it. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, ratcheting up the inflation and taking it out of play. But these are the external beliefs <clears throat> that you want to so, uh, solve and overcome. So how do you do that? <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to come up with these false beliefs, put them in a, in a column for each one. And then the experiences that you've had relating to those very stories. Come up with a, a couple different stories for those. And then tell the stories and how they overcome it. And then you get to point B, from A to B. You want to go from A to B. <laughs> now, the cool thing about that is that uh, it's all in the get, get, just go get yourself a copy of the expert secrets book by Russell Brunson. I'll put it in the description below. A, 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 a way you can get it. Um, not only inexpensively, but have it bundled with a bunch of other stuff. It's a, it's a terrific offer that he's put together. Russell Brunson, Expert Secrets, it's toward the end of the book. But <clears throat> no matter what, I'm going to tell you about a story about Frank. And I'm not talking about Frank from Scarface, who couldn't figure out what to do with all the fucking cash from his drug business. <laughs> I'm talking about a guy I went to school with who, regardless of what anybody uh, anybody's impression of him was I'll just kind of give you an example. Frank um, was the kind of guy that would uh, 
take his roommate's mouthwash back in college <laughs> after chewing on his own toenails to cut them off. Honest to God, put his foot up to his mouth, chewed his own toenails off, and then took his buddy's mouthwash, his roommate's mouthwash, rinsed his mouth out after having done so and spit it back in the bottle. <laughs> I watched him do it. So this is the kind of guy who went on to become uh, not only uh, president of the fraternity that I was in. Hopefully, if he's not watching this, I'm busting him too bad. And if you do know who I'm talking about, um, God bless you. Not only did, did he do that, but he went on to start his own, honest to goodness, corporate consulting company um, that's done, that does millions and millions of dollars and then sold it to create even more millions and started over and doing it again. So my point being, didn't give a shit about what anybody thought of him because he was kind of, um, to look at him, you'd be like, how? But all he did was figured out how to go from A to B without worrying about any of this other stuff. His mind was on the goal. His vision was on the goal. His vision was on what he wanted to accomplish. And so without having to worry about being self, any self-conscious <laughs> stigmas or anything like that just dismissed all of it or maybe even didn't even register whatever but if you when you get to that point um you're gonna move beyond certain levels of success but hey hopefully you like this especially the story about frank i'm david bridge jr if you like this video give it a thumbs up get the book uh in the link below i'll put a description uh, a note next to the link and uh we'll see you next time thanks